and welcome to my vlog. Today we are in Munich! center in Munich and I'm so glad that the weather is really really good it's actually not too cold I thought it's gonna be freezing but it's saying it's 16 degrees and it's not even that cold so yeah um, right now we just finished a little bit of shopping and now we're looking for a place to have our dinner at Um, today, I don't have really anything um, planned because Charbel is actually going to an exhibition. So today, um, I think we're gonna go shopping to Primark. Actually, we're leaving now with Charbel's friends. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the camera and hopefully I'll see you sometime today. Hello guys! So I am back at the hotel. It's been, I think, six hours since I last spoke to you. And oh my gosh, it's crazy. We were just in Primark the whole time. Then we spent a little bit more time at the mall where Primark is. And yeah, I shopped too much. Um, this jacket is actually from Primark. I decided to buy it and wear it because it looks good in this outfit. And I left without anything with just my bag. And now I have a luggage full of stuff from Primark. It's mainly gifts and uh, clothes. <laughs> So walking back to the hotel once again to drop off the stuff that I bought. It's very big, it's such a big bag. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go back to the hotel and wait until Charbel comes back to Munich. He should be here in less than an hour. And then we're gonna have dinner. Hey, finally reunited with Charbel. Yeah, you <laughs> Okay, we're now gonna go have dinner and we changed into our coats because it started getting really cold this evening compared to yesterday. Okay, the Asian girl in me was craving for rice. I have um, chicken curry. I mean turkey curry. Good morning guys, it's another beautiful day here in Munich. It's actually much colder today than the past few days. It's 9 degrees and I'm freezing <laughs> to the point where my eyes are watering so I had to wear my sunglasses. But anyway, today um, I'm just walking by myself. I'm going to an electronic store to find a hair dryer because of the change of hair, I need like hair dryer to style this hair. So I found one which is around maybe 10 minutes walk from, or no, it was 15 minutes walk from our hotel. So I'm almost near that, but I just stopped by this area because it's just so beautiful. The trees are having all this autumn colors and it's so beautiful. to find the uh, hair dryer that I wanted. I also was able to buy a SIM card from a grocery store nearby. Uh, one of the uh, um, staff at Saturn actually recommended that because I was looking for something more than what they're selling. They're only selling 1.5 GB and I wanted more than that. So I went to one small shop. I went with Leica Mobile and it's five gigabyte of data, and it's uh, 14 or 15 euros, plus I had to pay extra five euros for 
the guy who activated it on my phone. So yeah, 20 euros. Not bad. And now I'm finally gonna go have lunch. Actually, it's my first meal, so it's breakfast, but it's lunchtime now. It's 1 p.m. I saw a restaurant online, which is like five minutes walk from where I bought this stuff. So I'm walking to there now and uh, I'm gonna have my first traditional Bavarian food. So yeah, um, the place should be near here now. So I'll talk to you when I'm at the restaurant. <laughs> Okay, my order is here. It's so fast. I think it came in just less than five minutes from the time I ordered. So I got like all of everything just because I want to try everything out now. This is potato dumpling. It's two different kinds of uh, German or Bavarian sausages. This is the roast pork knuckle which they are famous for and this is chicken and also it's served with a uh, white cabbage salad. So yay! I'm gonna eat this now. And also, look at this place. It is so, so traditional Bavarian. Even the uh, waitresses are wearing the German um, traditional dress and also the tables are communal so you can actually sit anywhere in the restaurant and it's like sharing tables. Okay, so I finished my meal. I tried to finish all of it but I can't. <laughs> it's a lot of meat. Personally, I would just choose the sausage with the white cabbage salad. Those are the ones that really stuck out for me because I feel that the pork and the uh, duck was a little bit salty for my liking as well as the gravy. So I don't know if it's my taste buds but I felt it's a little bit um, salty. That's why I balance it out with the uh, white cabbage because the white cabbage salad is a little bit sour. So yeah, that's that. Um, if you're into meats, then you should try the Bavarian plate. But if you're into sausages, I highly recommend the sausages. It's really good and I really like it. Um, now I ordered some apple strudel for dessert. So I'm so excited for dessert. I really had to save a little bit of space in my tummy for dessert because I hear good things also about their apple pie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. This apple strudel looks so good. The apple pie, or the apple, was really very hot. It's nice and hot. Then it's served with this vanilla ice cream with whipped cream. So when you mix them together, it's the perfect marriage. It's so good. Ah. I'm so glad I saved some space for dessert. <laughs> Okay, after that heavy lunch, I am now walking back to the hotel. It's gonna be like uh, 18 minutes walk, so it's good because I had something heavy. And yeah, drop off the stuff that I bought. <laughs> Okay, so I came back at the hotel. I rested for a little bit, around 10 minutes, just to relax my feet. And I'm heading out once again. I think I'm gonna walk again, going there. It's just 10 minutes walk. Yeah, I changed, no, I didn't change. I decided to wear this like coat cardigan-ish because it's really a lot colder today. So yeah, I'll see you again later. <laughs> shop uh, which is at the subway in Marian Plot station and I've read good reviews about this hot chocolate place so basically you just choose the hot chocolate that you want I mean the chocolate bar that you want and then they're gonna dip it in milk and yeah there's your hot chocolate so I'm interested to try it This 
this is our last day in Munich. In fact, we are about to check out our hotel to go to the next destination, which is Salzburg, Austria. Um, I thought I'm gonna do this unboxing in this vlog because I just realized I didn't really do that much vlogging here in Munich just because um, mostly I did shopping here in Munich and my husband is doing some work so I didn't really go to any attractions here in Munich so just to make this vlog a little bit more interesting I'm gonna do something new and unbox it here in this vlog since I usually do a separate unboxing video I'm just gonna do it here okay so let's get on with the unboxing before we get kicked out of our hotel room anyway we'll start I'm gonna start with this bag right here which is such a big bag and it's right here okay also comes in a big dust bag and i don't know if you can already tell just by looking at it and it is the Ta oh my gosh i love this okay this is the Rive Gauche, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, <laughs> Rive Gauche Saint Laurent tote. I really needed this tote in my collection because all my bags are like small crossbody bags and I usually will use this as a mommy bag. I'll put the diapers and and baby bottles and such in this bag although I know it's not practical for a mommy bag I have my own diaper bag but this is a bag that I can use whenever we're heading out just for a few hours so I can put some small stuff for the baby over here and also when we're traveling so what I like about this the most the selling point is number one the price this is the cheapest out of all the other totes that I was looking at and also it has closure like you can just there's a popper on on the sides and also in the middle and over here it's three closures so i can easily put my stuff inside and even though i'm driving or let's say i'm in the plane the stuff that i put in here will not fall out so the inside is just like this it's a very big space and then it has one zip closure over here, which is also quite big. So I can fit a lot, not only a phone, I can fit a lot of stuff in here. I can put passports and other essentials on the side pocket over here. And then it's just like that. And it says Saint Laurent Paris. This is made in Italy. I love the details that they put onto the bag. Even the bottoms has those small details that says Saint Laurent Paris on all of them. So just a quick mod shot of this bag. It looks like this. And like this from the side. It is so cute. And I don't think it's that huge. Also, I'm a little bit tall. I'm 5'7", or 5'6 and a half, 5'7". So this is a perfect size for me. And yeah. From the back, it has nothing. It's just plain. Okay, let's go with the next one. I'm so excited to open this because I'm planning to wear it during this trip. This is from the Kim Jones Collection. Uh, I mean Dior collection with Kim Jones <laughs> so it came in this special paper bag so yeah let's start unboxing this ah! <laughs> okay so here it is I'm so excited okay let's just get on with opening this And let's see. Let's put it there. Okay, in the box, there's um, an extra shoelace over here, and also the Dior dust bag. It only comes in one dust bag, seems like. Yep, one dust bag. I always thought they would give two dust bags, but they just give out one, it seems. That's sad. But anyway, this 
are the shoes. Ah, oh. <laughs> so these are the shoes. Oh my gosh, let me take it out of the box. They look so cool. It's like in this, a little bit of like a plasticky or technical. The salesman told me it's like technical canvas materials. I think even though it gets sprayed with water or with rain or anything, it's just easy, wipeable, clean. So this is perfect. I can wear this a lot during this trip as well as when the baby comes, I can run after her with these shoes. So yeah, so cool. In the classic ones, I'm usually a 40 and a half. I was originally looking for the black Dior sneakers and too bad I missed that or yeah, I was... I was like not sure if I really wanted that but when I asked when I really wanted for it and I asked for those they don't have it available even when I was in um, where was I last time I was in Greece it's also not available but luckily here in Germany they have the Kim Jones collection and this was one of the choices I had in mind so I got it and it's perfect it's a little bit more expensive than the classic ones. The classics, the classic ones are 690 euros and this is 790 euros because it's a special collection. But I love it because it's unique and also I usually just wear plain clothes so this is a good pop of um, design I should say or pattern on my very boring and very plain outfit yeah so anyway uh that's the unboxing and i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did unboxing it and uh, don't forget to give this video a like and yeah i'll see you in our next destination which is salzburg so hopefully you watch that video as well thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have an awesome and beautiful day Bye.